Seven seconds remaining. Randlin turns, centered it all the way across. It goes Paul shot. No goal. Check it out. Oh, oh, oh are my. You kidding me? Oh, that's unreal. It's the stick. Oh. oh. Unbelievable. It's, it looked like it was on the line in that slow motion. That is incredible. Oh, here's a great view to see if indeed it gets over the line. Game 1,115. Oh, he's done it again! How long is Jordan Bennington going to stay between the pipes? Craig Berube having a discussion. Do I pull him? Do I make... And power to that movie made out of the corner in the first period. There's a shot. I think it's caught up in his visor. It is. <laughs> like a pirate. He was a pirate wearing an eye patch for a second there. Higher meaty. Okay, I wasn't going to laugh. And then He's when okay. he started yeah. laughing, it was okay because it's very rare a play like this happens where it just hits flat. And for Jamie Ben, he kind of sums this up for his team is not just once or twice making an odd number three times right there minus turners and centers stopped by Nelson straight there looking for the rebound of Nelson again netminder they're gonna have to look at this wow that is so close it's going it's going I don't know let's the overhead might give us a look it's got to go all the way across that red line it's trickling, it's trickling. Whoa, I thought boy. it might have been. I After video review, it's determined that the puck did not completely cross the goal line. Oh, we no. Saturday game where Vegas never trailed. Quick a turnover and somehow made a stick set. Yes, and he did. And no question, oh, gets the big goodness. paddle out there and knocks it down. That was right into the net. So Jonathan Quick with a pretty heads up play just to stay in the battle and try anything. He knows he's out. And now Giroud through center. And he throws it in and scores from the neutral zone. That skipped over the shoulder of Thompson. Wow. Claude Giroux tied it. Smith. And it's knocked off the stick. A diving play by Jordy Ben. Crosby tried to center. And he banks one in. Crosby with an incredible goal from behind the net. Gives the Penguins the lead with just seconds remaining. 21.5. Sure, he was fantastic the whole shift. And when the puck came to Hornquist, came back to Shiri to sit, he tries to bank it in here. Toya, that's the help he's looking for. Kane, dancing in, Kane scores! What a goal by Patrick Kane! He's magic! Here tonight, they move him from the second pair up to the first. Carter Hart lets that one slip in. Dumped in from center ice. It finds its way through, and it's 4-0 Tampa Bay. And Ian Cole doesn't even really suck. Look out here. Good bounce, L.A. Oh, oh what a play by Dylan Larkin. Marvin's in to keep it alive. Goodness. Wow. And is he getting some accolades at the bench for that very play? And he overskated the puck. Never got a shot away. And the Predators, who trailed 3-0 after one period, come back and win in a shootout. 4-3 the final and an anticlimactic end, to be sure, for the home fans. Up at the other line. Here's Dreisler to McDavid. Partial break. Richard scores! And just like that, catch the Canadians on a line change and turned over at the wrong time. And Dreisaitl wisely gets it into the hands of the fastest guy in the planet on skates, and he makes short work of this deke on Thompson with the giveaway. Here's a chance in front. Oh, what a goal by Tate Thompson! TNT blows it up. Down low in the Tampa zone, and the Sabres are on the board. Big, big goal here for the Sabres late in this first period. Tate Thompson 
down low here. He's going to get the puck. Look at that little spinorama move right there. And this. But here's Stutzla. A breakaway. He's running over time to win it. Deeks. Scores. Oh, wow. What a goal from Claude Giroux to end it. 20 seconds into OT. A little bit of a broken play down low as they're moving the puck side to side. Now watch Stutzla. A little spin. Gorge. He was hoping to spring it. And he did. It went past Kemper. And Pedersen scores. With 7.3 seconds to go in the period, Darcy Kemper had that puck bounce over his stick, and Elias Pettersson there to tie the game in one. Well, the creativity of Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson. Pettersson's been the best Canuck in this first period, no doubt about that. But look at Quinn Hughes. Boy, oh boy, this is a smart play. His own side of the red line. Gonna head back, Zetterberg from center. Diving with the glove was Ryan Miller. And he gets a standing ovation from some of the fans here at Joe Lewis. <laughs> Sutter had come onto the ice. He it might be. Here's a bouncing puck in front. Crosby bats out of the air. And we're all tied up. I gotta tell you, this did not look like much. It gets spun right back around. Into the flow. Orlock, beautiful move to the forehand, and Pickard makes the save, denying. It's loose. Orlock still there. He scores! Now you see him, now you don't. To his legs. Now everybody thinks he has the puck, and the goalie thinks he has it. The referee doesn't blow the whistle. He says, I'll just get it and fire it. And goes and up to Kucherov. <laughs> Did he do this on purpose? He absolutely did it on purpose. There's no doubt about it. That brings it before. My goodness. That's it. Final score in a shootout, Chicago 4, Minnesota 3. Probably about 15. Down the hash marks as it's still back in. And set a coach. Oh, it didn't go. It was tough with a wide open. Incredible stop by Braden Holtby. It's an adventure right there to watch this. The puck goes across. Over skates the puck. He touched it though with his stick. What's the ruling? The officials get together. He moved it forward. If he touched the puck with his stick, that's going to count. He did move it forward. What an ending this it's would over. be. Fires are off the bench, but there's been no call. Terrace. Passed it back again as they started to go, and then got stalled. CeCe threw it up. Turris got it in deep. That's an icing call. Oh, that was a bad mistake by Mulkin. There's Marty hustling off. Oh, it's off the power goal! Marty Braudor went to retrieve his stick, and nearly... He's lost his skate plate, so he's trying to make his way to the bench with a little help. The the that bounce. Rieger up front. That's Davison on the intercept and the clear. Back on D with Meyer. And I like that they. Oh, there's a goal! It bounces right by Toscala. Oh, you want to talk about a bad infield? A big hop bounces over the left pad of Vesa Toscala. First run fans on a pass. Stefan steals and he'll ice it. Oh, at least I thought he was gonna. He's loose. Hemsky, he scored! Can you believe what we just saw? It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Patrick Stefan, you should be embarrassed for what you just did. That does what would be go. Foul is in, looks to be go. Saved by Riddick. Puck high in the air, and Riddick runs himself into the crossbar. Trying to catch that puck off the glass. Riddick turns and runs himself. Oh, the puck. Sebastian Ajo gets it back. Oh, no. Blackwood in 
and sticks it in. You got to be kidding me. Mackenzie Blackwood fanned on the clearance attempt, and it's a slam dunk for Ajo, shorthanded to put the Hurricanes ahead. Well, there was some mistakes in the neutral zone initially. I thought Ajo was going to walk in all alone, and then the Devils got a break because Ajo broke it up. Kane with it. Park out of the zone. Not sure why Seth Jones was standing outside the zone there, Jones. Yeah, Patrick Kane's thinking the same thing. That's all. Very hard handed opportunity. We talked about the end of the period, watching the right part of your screen. King gets his puck. Bullseye! Tally. Takes control. Edler. Test for it. Oh, it's behind him, it's in. Alex Edler's just scored from center ice on a shot that hit the goalie in the chest, went over his head and into the box. Perfect again, and he lost his footing. He just can't buy a goal. <laughs> <laughs> and now he gives him a pat. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to be. Here he tries to finish along the wall, and there he goes. Elbow. And right into the bench. Turn pucks over with that quick pass up the ice. Perlini with a real good chance. Skinner missed play, a tap in. Dylan Larkin, the captain for the Wings. A gift. And it's 3-0 Detroit. And there's that aggression again by the Red Wings. And Dylan Larkin with a point to the sky. Obviously had some point. A broken stick by Sharp. The net empty for the Chicago Blackhawks. It's coming back. Could it go in? Yes, it's in! A goal! <laughs> Ranta goes to the big groups. Now for Letestu. Letestu wide, steps into a shot. Big rebound! Patrick Ruff. For the finished youngster. But now he heads to the bench and hangs his head. There's nothing much you can do. I mean, this is just there by Ablocator and a good show. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, throw man! Oh, he drilled it in his own net. Miller let the shot go, and the Blues put it in their own goal, and it's one nothing Red Wings. Goaltenders make this move a hundred times a night in the NHL. A caught. Oh, wait till you see the fantastic finish. Oh, over you go. Press spots the puck down the ice, and just about do it. Whoa! <laughs> It's the first thing in Montreal fans have had. Moves in against James Reimer. McDavid. Bobbled the puck, and that eliminates the play. And he was getting chirped by the Carolina pitch. Suter cannot oh, hold and finds Sagan moving in with the empty net, and he sends it over the top of the goal. And boy, oh boy. Couldn't get rid of this one before Spurgeon got back. It looked like that was a sand wedge. He needed it. In the no play zone there, he got caught. The puck just slid far enough that he was able to get it out. That was a goal oh. scores from long range. And Calgary tied it in the most unlikely fashion. Well, how about that sequence? You've got a glorious save on the power play by Markstrom. To Rob. Back to the line. Gooley shot blocked in front by Muzzin. Game win. Tuck wants it up the right side. He likes his play. Tuck behind the defense. Back and score. Coming in the zone by Yoki Haru. Tuck got a tremendous amount of speed. Mark Stahl just crumbles as soon as he hits the boot. So Heads to the bench. Hints comes on and picks a pocket. Now shorthanded. Rope hints. A breakaway. Hints. Scores! Well, Glenn Denning had broken his stick, and that missed shot by Duchesne allows him to get off. There's a puck jack by Rope. That's all. Right in front. Oh, and it's in. Oh, he's got it. And now it's in. Oh, my God. The save was made. Didn't know where it was, but it found the net behind him. Just over the line. 
Lafferty. And then Dickinson Lafferty scores a shorthanded goal for Chicago to tie it. Ouch. Your first Jones able to head man it up for Lafferty. Here's another chance shorthanded for Chicago. And diving in front is Lafferty from Dickinson. A second shorthanded goal in a row. And the Blackhawks take the lead. Lafferty again. And it's 3 2 Chicago. He's pressure at the line. Dolan trying to tie up. McDavid has got an open net. He won't do it. McDavid gets the open net. He hit the post with 57 seconds to go. Sabres come back the other way. They lift it to the Edmonton line. McDavid open again behind the play. And a penalty coming up here. Gonna go against Edmonton, but the Sabres with the net empty don't want to stop the play now. In behind the net, now touched up. 